Hello everybody, my name is Lachara, and this is Eco Global Survival. Another episode of my multiplayer Let's Play, and my store is now sold out of iron pipes. Looks like I'm going to have to make some more iron pipes. Let's queue those up. Actually, I bet in nails, too. How much iron do I have? Oh, I do have a lot of iron. So that's good. So let's make, like, 20 pipes. Sure. And... Where's nails? Nails, nails, nails. 320 nails. Hopefully that'll keep everybody supplied for a bit. So when I went to bed, I had a bunch of steel queued up. And it uh, did not finish because I uh, ran out of coal. Like, not coal for to make the steel, but coal to feed the blast furnace. So that kind of sucked. So I should have checked that before I went to bed. But I didn't because... Yeah, I don't know. I just because I didn't. <laughs> so... Uh, the goal for today, I'd like to start working on making my house better. Maybe start making some tier two materials. Uh, at least get rid of the hewn logs. <laughs> um, get the rooms better organized. Maybe get some more furniture. See if we can get this uh, housing bonus up at least over 30. Um, and maybe a rework of the smelting area. Get this second blast furnace in place. Like uh, hollow out there, right? Like we talked about in the last episode. Um, and workshop expansion is going to be something that I need to do at some point as well because I am going to need another machine or two there for oil drilling. And if you look at the status here, these objects use up 70 cubic meters out of 75 right now. It, it, I am going to need it to be tier 3, so there's no rush. But at the very least, I should hollow out space to expand this little room, right? Have that ready. Um, I got a bunch of tailings there, so I'm going to have to work on some tailing storage. I'm going to have to talk to Phantom. He's still has this claim here that's blocking my way to get to the copper mine. I'll have to talk to him about that. Um, I may look around the map a bit, see if I can find a decent oil field for me to take advantage of, because I am take, planning to take oil drilling with my next skill. And uh, I think today would be a good day to, to spend some time uh, checking out people's builds. It's uh, We are almost a week in now, so people are starting to come up with some pretty cool builds. So it'd be cool to go check those out. Um, if you did want to join the server, like I said, it is a weekend, but you still can. There's still room if you want to come check us out. Uh, links in the description down below to my Discord and the information to join the server is there. Um, we are also having, uh, I feel like I haven't mentioned this in a couple episodes. I'm giving away a, uh, two Steam gift cards, $50 and $20, Canadian dollars I should mention for the uh, best slash coolest build on the server. So if you're uh, if you somebody somebody who really likes building, um, come check us out. And yeah, you are behind, so it might be tough to win the prize, but uh, I you know, I I gave these steam cards away steam cards away last time as well. And I like to think I probably would every time. So if that interests you long term, uh, maybe come check us out, see if we're a good fit for you. Uh, we got a pretty good bunch uh, here right now um i'm having a really good time so yeah so that's the plan for today we'll work on that hopefully get uh so much of that done as we can i do have uh some real life things i need to do today so i might not be on a whole lot but if uh if i don't get a lot done personally at the very least we'll tour around the server and see what but see what everybody else is up to um and that should be uh that usually makes for a pretty good video so uh yeah let's get it done all right, I'm just over at the uh, public coal mine, getting some coal to make some steel. And this is a little uh, tip trick for everybody. Let's say you're in a situation where you don't feel like making a ramp down. Um, ordinarily, you'd have to run down, grab a handful, run back up to your truck, right? So what I did is I put a stockpile down here. You fill the stockpile. In the perfect world, your truck's close enough and you just slide it over, right? Everybody probably knows that trick though, right? But the stockpile isn't close enough to my truck. So what I did is I put a tiny stockpile right here. So you come up, use the tiny stockpile. All of a sudden you have access. Boom. Just like that. Looks like I gathered too much. <laughs> so we'll grab a handful. So yeah, that's a little tip trick for everybody. And this, like I said, this coal mine is public. If anybody needs coal, come grab it. Um, pretty sure I'm going to need more than anybody else as the only advanced smelter at the moment. Advanced smelting uses a ton of coal to make steel. 
yeah just wanted to uh show that off um for anybody who didn't know anybody i know a lot of generally speaking it's newer players that seem to watch my eco video so there's a now you can say you learned something today from luch of all people i know shocking anyway i'll be back <laughs> okay i just got back online after being offline for a couple hours so let's take a look at the old blast furnace nothing being made right now so let's change that let's make another hundred steel here we're getting low on the quick lime though but we can make some more of that as well so let's queue up some quick lime as well 100 that uses about 53 all right better eat how's our balance here we need some protein old roast will give us some protein but roast is kind of a lower tier food compared to what else we could have right now and vitamins so let's have a huckleberry pie and let's do a fruit salad trying to keep her balanced here oh we need more vitamins and her stomach is full all right so uh manny said he finished the copper gold mine expansion so i'm gonna go down and take a look at that see how that looks well i mean it's gonna look <laughs> it's gonna look like a long mine shaft that ends in some copper and gold i would imagine but I want to go see it anyway, because, I mean, Phantom did some of the work, Manny did some of the work, but I did a lot of it. It took me a long time. Oh, and there's my tailings, my, my permanent tailing home, eventually. Quite a few people on right now, I think. Yeah, like 10. Oh, Jimbo, new player, just got on. Most of the core group is around, which is nice. Oh, yeah, you can see it. Oh. Hmm. Why'd the road get changed over here, I wonder? I'm curious, what happened here? Oh, it's all dug out. Why is it all dug out here? You know what? I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know. Here we are. Gold and copper. So the copper is going to be potentially tricky to get at is the only thing, right? Maybe. I guess you can come over here for the copper. Maybe I can clear out some more space, get a stockpile down. Anyway, that is the gold and copper. So let's uh, let's do a slash fly to get back here. We don't need to make that trip again. So I'm thinking my priority now. Phantom said he was going to make me a waste filter. Did he have the time for that? He did. Waste filter. All right. So we're going to pick up that waste filter. And then we are going to set up our uh, second blast furnace here. Because uh, like this. This right here. That's why I don't have a second blast furnace. The sewage is just pouring out. Right? Having one blast furnace doing this is bad enough. I didn't want to have two. Right? So with the waste filter though, I can take care of this. So I'm going to put probably the blast furnace right here where this stuff is. I'll have to hollow out here um, to push these back because I got to make sure, like, I can't put those things over here because there's no power, right? The power doesn't reach there, so I'll have to put them further back. So I'll have to clear out some space, but I think that'll be my priority for this evening. Um, yeah, no, I think that's that should be what I need to do. Let's check my store here. Is my sold out of anything important? Lots of iron bars. Got some nails. Finally, I finally got ahead of the bro on nails. Iron pickaxe. Oh, iron pipes. Iron big so. But I'm not worried about the iron tools because I'm going to start making steel to steel tools here soon. Um, got glass. Got advanced upgrade two. Advanced upgrade threes are sold out. So we should probably turn that into a three. Got steel bars. We got modern upgrade twos. Or ones, sorry. We have two of, two of them. So what did I say I needed to do? Oh, yes. Advanced upgrade. Wait. Do I have one of those or not? Yeah, it must be in a different storage pile. But it's good to have these queued up anyway. Yeah. All right. So, yes, I'm going to go buy that uh, waste filter. Oh, uh, yeah. Buy that waste filter and work on getting my smelting area expanded. Should be good. I'll be back. Right, the new and improved smelting area is completed. So I hauled this out, put these over here. They get power here. Actually, not only does this one get power, but this one now 
reaches all the stockpiles or all the large stockpiles, which is nice, I guess. Um, actually, could actually be a bad thing potentially. I don't want. I don't really want stuff coming here. As long as that's bottom priority, I guess, right? It should be fine. Um, so, yeah, and I got my second blast burst down. You can see this is the water input. Comes down, goes in there, goes in there. Waste output comes here, comes here, goes up. And let's go take a look at what we got up top. Because there's some new things up there as well. Obviously. Oh, that's a lot of pollution. <laughs> So yeah, we're polluting a lot. We see, we got the new steam engine there, providing some electrical power. So this is uh, this is the output. This is the waste sewage. Comes down, goes into the waste filter, turns into nice clean water. Not that it matters, because I think clean water is kind of uh, not going to happen up here. Feel bad for the aqueduct water. <laughs> is what it is. Um, so it turns it into clean water and compost. So this is to catch the compost. I'm going to have to keep an eye on this. It's going to fill up quick. I'm probably going to have like a ton of stockpiles up here for compost by the time I'm done. Like, a ton. Man, I just realized oil drilling too makes a ton of compost. Between smelting, advanced smelting, and oil drilling, I am going to make... I don't even want to know how many normal stockpiles will compost I'm going to make this run. It's going to be a lot. Let's just say that. It's going to be a lot. But it's done. It works. Um, it's all on claimed land. Well, the compost isn't, but I don't care about the compost. But this thing here... This machine needs to be on claimed land for whatever reason. So it is. So it's all good there. Uh, the only thing is I had to I had to shift this over when it was right here. And this pipe was interfering like they were combining. And this is supposed to be water, not sewage, right? So I had to move that, as you can see by this little bend here. Water comes down. Boom. Drop that in right here. This is claimed, right? Yeah, because we want this to be claimed. I hate, to be some, I hate for somebody to come and steal this. But well, we're going to have to keep an eye on this, make sure it has coal in it. But if we do need anything in our workshop that needs power, pretty sure this will cover it, which will be nice. I don't think we will. Uh, not if we're not if we're just planning oil drilling. But I will need to expand my workshop at some point, and it'll be expanding over this way, so I'll have to clear all this out at some point. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, it's a problem for future Lachara to worry about. Current Luchara, I think, before I do anything else, I'm just going to clear out a little space here and get an extra stockpile here because I'm feeling short on stockpiles a little bit. Oh, and also, I hit Advanced Smelting 7, which lets me do the Advanced Smelting upgrade. So one of these Blast Furnaces, I'm going to have the Advanced Smelting upgrade in. And the other, I'm just going to have the Normal Smelting upgrade in, which I think is what I already have, yeah. So one of them will primarily do Iron, Copper, Gold. The other one will do steel, quick lime, and the, the various steel products, rebar, rivets, steel pipes if necessary. I don't expect to make a lot of steel pipes, but there is some recipes that call for steel pipes, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, that's the plan. I need some limestone. And I might go down, actually, hmm, speaking of storage, if I come down here, my giant one, if I was to hollow out some space, like here, somewhere around here, or here, for an additional stockpile, I'd be clearing out limestone to do it, which would be pretty good, right? Because I do need limestone. So that is going to be on my list of things to do. I'd like to get some copper and gold in stock, just to have copper in particular. I don't think we need gold anytime soon. Uh, I need to get some more tailing storage going. Gonna have to widen some more mine shafts, all kinds of things to do, and then we're gonna have to worry about oil. Oh well, let's actually do oil right now. So, world layers, environment data, because I did this. I did this off camera. Oil field. So there's a couple around. There's one right here. Row already claimed it. There's a decent one over here. That's where Panda built this house. There's a decent one over here. That's where Priest built this house. You're kind of getting the idea. <laughs> Kind of catching the trend, right? There's a really pretty solid one out here. It's way out in the ocean, but I decided to claim that. So that means I'm going to have to, and uh, maybe this is a bad idea. Maybe this is way too optimistic, or not optimistic, ambitious. But I feel like if I made a road 
straight out from here to about here. Then I can make a road, maybe go along the beach and out. Probably my best bet. So that's a big project, but I mean, I have, well, I have two, almost three days before I get my oil drilling skill points. So I'm going to have one, have it done before then. And I still need to redo my house, expand my workshop. Uh, it's too many things to do. This is eco. This is the problem with eco. There's always so many things to do. Actually, after I get the oil drilling set up, I think it'll calm down. But I mean, that's a couple more days away. Anyway, I'm going to go work on something. One of these things I've been talking about. I'm not sure which, but I'll be back. <laughs> All right. So I did, uh, I did a quick couple things here. I had the little stockpile here. Just gives me a little more room to play with. And I did go down and add the one here as well. As you can see, it's right there. Oh, apparently it's collecting tailings. And copper bars. That's probably not where I want the copper bars to go. So I'm going to have to <laughs> change the priority on... Uh, on one of my blast furnaces here. But that's fine. That is not a big deal. This one here looks like. Yeah. So let's uh, slide you down. Way down there. All right. Anyway. So another thing I want to show off is. Uh, I asked Tufel, one of our engineers, to make a road. So like. The, the main road comes here. Obviously goes down past Josh and Roe and everybody. Um. And then it comes back this way. It comes around to Tuple and Axel and Goody down here. So I asked Tuple maybe to make a road coming this way. Oh, he's working on it right now as we speak. Um, I kind of pitched it to him as a long-term project, but he like he did almost the whole thing last night. Um, let's go take a look at it. So I am working on this. I'm slowly making this ramp up here be a reality bit by bit. Uh so yeah, it'd be nice to be able to drive up here, obviously. Comes across this bridge. Now this is mortar stone. It's not a road, so this will have to be changed. Namronanator's over there. And then this house here, we got Skylord and Starlord. So I'm sure they would also appreciate this extra road. And I'm willing to bet uh, Savage Turtle, I think, is out here. Yeah. Savage Turtle would like a road here. Oh, well, that's a closing down sale. I'm going to assume by that that they are not playing anymore. So they don't need a road. But anyway, my, my overall point stands. Uh, Tupel kind of went pretty crazy. I think the road, I think he's planning to come up about here. Somewhere where the, by the tunnel entrance. Yeah, right here. So he's got to he's got to go up a bit. But and he's not playing around with the size. Like this is a nice five wide stone road. Five wide, six wide. Five wide. Yeah, like thank you very much for this tool. So I have to go down and buy some uh buy some whatchamacallit here. Food. I have to buy food <laughs> from Axel. Um Axel's place is looking pretty good, so let's take a look at this. Tuple's a man after my heart with the uh with the box. <laughs> but uh Axel does not play around. Lots of glass. I wonder where he got that glass from. Probably from me. But yeah, you got to drive through. You can come down, drive through. I didn't bring my truck, so I can't drive through. But what do I want? I want something high in protein, didn't I? Yeah, I need some vitamins. So um, sweet salad, right? Or I could go for some huckleberry pies, I guess. Oh, does he not have any sweet salad? Or not sweet salad, fruit salad. Sweet salad's a later thing, isn't it? It's like an even... Even better food, it's like higher tier. Anyway, I think it would be good to get something high protein while I'm here as well. But is any of this stuff high protein? That's the thing, I don't think there's any, I mean, crispy bacon is high protein, but it's higher fat. I don't think there's anything that has protein as its highest. Honor stew is not bad, so let's top that up. Yeah, if we mix those along with a couple of pies. Let's buy a few pies while we're here. Why not? Anyway, I just want to show off that road. I want to show off Axel's place. I know he was pretty, uh, he's pretty proud of it, and he should be. It's pretty nice for a tier two. So, yeah, I'm going to go, uh, actually take a look at, uh, 
Did I show off the aqueduct yet? I feel like I didn't show off the aqueduct yet. You need a ride there, partner? All right, so let's go take a look at that. All right, we just need to load in here. So we kind of saw the aqueduct when I was up here, right? So here's the aqueduct. It starts here. I don't think we really followed the aqueduct yet. It's pretty far and pretty high. It's pretty cool. I think Josh built it. If somebody helped Josh or if it was somebody else, I apologize. But I think it was Josh. We got fish in our aqueduct. <laughs> Comes all the way down here. I'm assuming it's going to empty into that eventually. Obviously, it's a work in progress to some degree. Oh, it's not getting up. Oh, the water's blocked. Okay, so yeah, it's obviously supposed to drop into here. That'll be pretty cool. Honestly, when that's done. Oh, and Cryptid Shadow has been busy on his house, too. And Workshop. I particularly like these. That looks like a normal house. Like a real house, right? Like, that's pretty That's pretty sweet. If I'm being honest. Yeah. Anyway. I'm going to go uh, keep picking away at all my various tasks on my to-do list. I'll be back. All right, so I did expand my uh, tailing storage here. I actually got lucky because, like, right there, there's a claim. <laughs> like, I almost, I was digging it out, and I had it all dug out, and then I was like, oh, wow. So, like, if I had just, I got lucky that I put it here and not one over this way. Anyway, and then I'm going to hit his claim here, too, eventually. So what I'm probably going to have to do, I mean, I can make a couple more stockpiles there. Maybe I can go this way. Or likely I'll just come down here and push it that way. Will probably work either way. Or I could just start putting them in my iron mine. I mean, <laughs> there's options. But I'm glad I got that done. You know, no tailings up top. Well, I got a bunch of stuff being cooked up right now. I guess that's going to make some tailings. But other than that, other than the fresh stuff. So I got lots of steel uh, going for overnight here. Um, so yeah, so I'm making iron here, got a bunch of iron cooking up there, and then a bunch of iron, or steel stuff here, steel, actually we still got iron cooking, let's cancel this iron, we can make the iron at the other one, um, and some rebar, then a whole bunch of steel, and some more quick lime, so that should be good, it should get us, should help, should get the server kickstarted in steel, because, Phantom's looking for steel for industry stuff. I don't know if anybody else is taking industry. Like Encrypted Shadow might. He took mechanics. So they're going to need a lot of steel bars. So I actually dropped my price down to four, which I think is quite fair for a steel bar. And then rebar. Um, I know Manny is looking for rebar for reinforced concrete. Um, I'm trying to think, is that a masonry thing? Yeah, so... If Josh will likely be looking for some of those as well. So I feel like those are priced fairly, although I am, I did tell Manny I would make a deal with him. Um, I'll give him, basically I'll give him a bunch of rebar and then he's going to give me some reinforced concrete from my workshop, which is going to need to be tier three and bigger as we've talked about. But that's a future Luchara problem. Current Luchara is tired. And current Luchara is going to go to bed. I hope you enjoyed this video, though. Hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. Join my Discord, particularly if you want to join the, join the server. And if you're like, oh, it's already weekend, I don't want to join the server, I get that. I do, 100%. But join the Discord. You can get a feel uh, for the group. Maybe even just pop into the server, hop into the voice chat, get a feel for the group, because I, I can guarantee this isn't going to be our last eco. Well, let's play. Or play through multiplayer. Oh, I also did this. I also started on my tunnel out to my uh, oil area. Just basically, I just shoveled up a bunch of clay and moved it over here. <laughs> That's all that was. Anyway, be good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.